Does this look familiar to you? Well, if you've got an RV or maybe even a car trailer with an air conditioner on top of it, it probably looks really familiar. Specifically, this is a Dometic unit, but it doesn't matter the brand name. LumaSafe has a UV light that will help you keep things disinfected. I feel like a mosquito. We're shifting gears a little bit here at Shop Tool Reviews today and going away from just tools and talking about things that you probably enjoy on the weekends or maybe several weeks out of the year. And that is getting in an RV or maybe pulling a trailer that has an air conditioner on it. And one thing about these air conditioners in our RVs and in our trailers and different things, they only get used part of the time. Unlike our homes that probably the AC or the furnace is usually running nonstop throughout the year, these things get run kind of on the spot every now and then, and for the rest of the time they sit and they don't do anything and they like to gather moisture, especially here in the Southeast, and things like to grow in that moisture in dark areas like the inside of an AC. So LumaSafe is bringing a product that's been used in other industries for decades for killing, neutralizing, sterilizing germs, bacterias, even viruses in places like hospitals, uh, food processing plants, and even in our homes in the last couple of decades. We've seen UV light starting to be used more and more, but in our RVs, we haven't seen it. So LumaSafe has come out with a product to take these UV lights a lot lower intensity because we don't need all that intensity of a 10,000 square foot clinic in our little air conditioner and our, you know, 400 square foot home on wheels, if you will, if it's that big. But this little UV light can definitely help you into keeping things clean and disinfected. And the longer it runs, the better it's going to be. Now it runs off of the 120 volt supply of your air conditioner. So if you don't have that 120 volt panel on and it's not getting fed that 120 volts, it's not going to run. So you don't have to worry about it running down your 12 volt battery. That's not where it's going to be pulling from. Now let's go ahead and break open this unit and show you how to install this simple piece of equipment that you'll probably never even hear run. And by the way, you don't have to install it. You could definitely take it to your RV service center and they can install it for you. This is how you'll get the LumaSafe UV light product and very easy, open it up. There's instructions there, general instructions. There's your sticker if you want to put it on and you have a little transformer there, a little circuit board, and this is where your power comes in and we'll tap into the power with that. And then this side here is just simply going to plug right here into this light here. So you'll plug that in and then we need to mount this light, which we're about to do. And these are just little stands that slide on here. By the way, a very good looking light as well, just in case you ever wanna open it up and look in there. And you can also slide these depending on where you need to mount this. And we're just going to use the 3M tape that's included with it. You also have some zip ties if you need to zip tie some wires out of the way. So everything's included there to install this. You may need a couple of wire nuts or spade connectors depending on how you want to install it. But very simple installation. And as you can see, everything's included right here in the box. So let's get started. Now, the first thing we want to do on this Dometic unit is we want to get the cap off. Now, this would only be if you're accessing it from the top of the RV and installing it that way. You can also install it from underneath. In fact, we'll run uh, some footage here of where we did install this on an RV and did it from the inside without having to remove this cap. But if you do decide to do it from the outside, you'll have a little more room. You just need to remove these screws and sometimes they're a little stripped, so a little help there. So just four of those on this unit and this will lift right off. And now we're looking at the inside of the unit with the cap off. The compressor is back here. The fan motor is sitting right here. And this is basically encapsulated foam cap. And this is in two pieces. So you should be able to gently kind of pull up on it. It might be a little bit stuck, but just kind of find a couple of areas and ease it up. And it's just kind of a tongue and groove system where it will lift off without hurting anything. This wire right here will be plugged in through here. Let me raise this up. If you're accessing this from the inside of the RV, then you probably got a control board right here. Uh, this will be the roof and it'll probably be stood off at, you know, about six inches or so, but you'll have a control board somewhere right here where this plugs into. 
but coming into that control board will probably be something that looks like this, Romex with three wires, a white, a black, and a ground, and that's bringing in your 120 volts or 100, 110, 120 volts of voltage, and your white is gonna be your neutral and your black is going to be your common or your black's your power wire that's coming in. The, the white is returning and so it will tell you on the instructions how to wire that. Basically the reason I'm saying that is we don't have to tap into this. We do not have to uh, cut or add any connections or anything on this side of the plug. This is gonna be plugged in that control board. That control board has an access panel. You can see on this other footage where you can access the 120 volts. So if you are doing this from the top side, just take this wire here, which is where you'll connect it, and just drop it down through the hole here that will actually go inside the unit and you'll have to pull the cap off from the inside to access that control board. So you can just drop that down. We can do all our installation right here and then you can go inside and actually hook that up. So this is the coil here. This is where all the air is going to pass through that's coming out of your RV and then being dumped back into it. So it's circulating the air through this coil. This is where we want to aim that UV light. We could go to either side. This will be the easiest side to get to. And we can just take our 3M tape, put it on here and aim it right here at the coil. And again, we can dump our control wires down here. We can also mount this control board here as well. Now, if you wanted to, you could probably mount it to the cap. I would recommend that against that because when you have to remove this, then you'd be tethered by a wire. Now I'm gonna first just take our 3M tabs and mounting on our mounting blocks here, as well as the little circuit board here. Rub that down pretty good. I'm sure it's sticking. And put these on my light, again on the board. So now we're ready to install. So I've peeled my protective tape off, or protective layer, and now I'm going to install this one. I'm just gonna put it on the bottom here, there's kind of a little shelf there that I can put it on. And just kind of press this in there. Make sure it's on. By the way, you may want to wipe this down with a microfiber and maybe even wipe it with some alcohol if it's dusty or nasty to make sure you've got a good surface for this to bond to. Then I want to take my light and make sure that my stands are in a good place. And I want to get as centered to the coil as I can so that I have as much surface area as possible that it covers. And there we go. So now you can see here's the control box or the circuit board, whatever you want to call that. Here's the light and it's kind of floating on these two stands here, which is great. But what I'm going to do just to make sure that we don't have any issues, I don't want that sliding out. I'm just going to take a zip tie, put it on this side and take another zip tie. It's easy enough to cut these off if for some reason we've got to pull it out but this will keep this from sliding one way or the other and sliding off the brackets. And there we go. So now that light is nice and secure. It's held on with the tape. It's not sliding around going anywhere and it's aimed directly at that coil, which by the way, if you notice this uh, octagonal or hexagonal, what, whatever, how many sides that is, uh, you can actually turn it on these mounts as well. So if you, we needed to aim it this way or that way, we could definitely do so with the type of mounts and stands that we have here. So that is really cool. But this is actually nice where our coil is nice and parallel to the actual front surface. So we can aim it directly at a 90 degree angle, directly at it. Now I'm just gonna take my two plugs and plug them in. You'll hear it snap. So now we know we're secure. And now I just took another couple of zip ties and tied all this up so we don't have any loose stragglers and tied this one up against the light there so it's not blocking the light and it's staying out of the way, keeping everything nice and tidy. And now this pigtail is going to get fed down to the control board where you can wire it up. But as far as this side, we are good to go now. Now you'll see here in the instructions, it says blue goes to neutral and brown to hot. In other words, Brown is going to go to uh, what is typically the black wire in Romex, and the blue is going to go to the neutral, which is typically the white wire in Romex. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these leads off, and I'm gonna strip these. So now that they're stripped, go ahead and twist them well. Since we don't have our unit wired up, we're going to simulate that we have Romex run through here. 
So bear with us here. So here's our black wire and here's our white wire. So we know that brown is going to go to black and blue is going to go to white. Take a wire nut. Another wire nut. Make sure these things thread on good. And then I would recommend wrapping those with electrical tape as well. And we'll turn on our power. And our UV light is working. So we got good direction there on the coil covering the entire coil. And that UV light is going to help inhibit growth of different things that's going to definitely keep things cleaner on this coil. And it will continue to work at it as well. The longer it runs, uh, the cleaner it will help get this, especially even in dirty situations, it will continue to kind of eat at that and to make this better and better. If it's clean already, it will definitely help to keep it clean as well. And here we have it flipped up on its back or on the end with the cap on. So you can see we, now we've got the styrofoam cap back on it and the UV light running. And we've got great exposure of that UV light to the coil as well as to the rest of the whole return. You know, many times our RVs that we spend tens of thousands of dollars on and some in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, many times we overlook the simple things uh, like air quality and air treatment and even HVAC treatment that we do on our homes and businesses. But for some reason, the thing we stuff away for the majority of the year and let it just sit with all that nasty air inside of it, we don't think about it. Now, this is a technology that is not new. It's been tried and tested in many different applications and UV light is very effective in treating surface area as well as the air for different things. You can look that up and find all that information without looking too hard. Even things like uh, CDC, FDA all talk about UV light and the treatment in hospitals, food processing, you name it. So LumaSafe has a great little product. And by the way, this is only a 0 0.30 amp draw. So 0 0.3 amps is the draw on this. And it's only drawing that when that 120 volt system is on. If that's not on, just your 12 volt system is on in your RV, it's not drawing from that. So when that breaker panel is live and when there's 120 volts flowing through there, that's when this light is gonna come on. So yes, it's going to run when the AC is not running, but that means it's going to be treating that surface area when that power is on, when you're plugged into shore power or when you're running a generator, something like that, as long as you got 120 volts coming to this, then it's going to power up that light and have that 0.3 amp draw, but it's not gonna draw down the battery on your vehicle. Check it out, we'll have a link in the description. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. And if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And by all means, if you hated our video well, then give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.